What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Why why do YouTubers do that? <laughs> like, I, I see so many damn YouTube intros like that. Anyways, we're not doing that here. Anyways, hey, guys, welcome to another video. Um, Today's video, I'm going to talk about my top five uh, favorite games of 2022. And, um... You know, I'm going to start naming them uh, off right now. So starting off, I am going to discuss one of my favorites of 2022. And I will be mentioning, um, you know, like older games I played, you know, along with some newer ones that made the list. Um, yes, I know um, some do this for like newer games, but there's some games I didn't get to play back in the day. Um, like... You know, there there were so many games back then that came out that I did I just didn't get to play at all or get a chance to, you know. So starting off, I am gonna name one of them. So the first game that I've been enjoying here in 2022, and it came out back in 2001, and that is the Devil May Cry franchise. Um, you know what got me into Devil May Cry was you know, Devil May Cry 5, I gotta say, because, like, you know, after playing 5 and getting into that, um, I, I just absolutely enjoyed it, and, you know, like, I, I just thought the whole thing was very enjoyable, you know, like, it was such an enjoyable game, 5, and I know some may say otherwise, because they probably played every single one of them and didn't like it. And, you know, some of, like, but that, that that would probably be their opinion. But I guess if I play through every one of them individually and then go back to five, I could probably see where they're coming from, like, some things about it. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be, like, going through every single Devil May Cry, playing through them, and, like, giving my thoughts on it. Um, but I gotta say, the series, like, especially part one, very enjoyable, especially some of the boss battles, like, fighting the spiders, the giant scorpion, like, even, even that dream demon thing, man, that, <laughs> that, that was kind of badass, I gotta say, and I'll also be sh showing some footage of it. Oh, 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 how do you like that? Got him. Hell yeah. We got him. And as you can see there, that is one of re many reasons why I, I enjoy Double May Cry and definitely recommend the series, even though it's an old series at this point, like Resident Evil. <laughs> like, definitely give it a go if you've never played it before. Uh, second on my list for um, 2022 of games I've enjoyed is gotta be Gotham Knights, you know, Gotham Knights is quite up there, um, you know, I gotta say, is one of my favorites so far, um, you know, since, like, since it came out, I wanted to, um, like, really, like, get into it, you know, like, I didn't buy it when it first launched, but that's because they wanted, like, 60, <laughs> like, almost 70 bucks for the game, but when it had a Black Friday sale, I picked it up and didn't look back, and, um, you know, the, like, what intrigued me about, uh, Gotham Knights is, um, like, you don't see any other Batman game quite like it, you know? It's a, it's in a world where Batman's dead, and, you know, you, you just don't see anything like Gotham Knights. Like, you can take on the mantle of Red Hood, Nightwing, Robin, or even Batgirl. I, I like, my favorite character, I gotta say would have to be Batgirl just because, you know, I feel like she'd be the closest thing to taking on the call of Batman. But that's just my own personal opinion as to why. But, um, yeah, like, oh yeah, and I can't forget Robin. He's quick on his feet. That's why I also like him. <laughs> but, um, I do think Nightwing and, um, and Red Hood's pretty badass too from what I played of them. Like I'm going to show you guys uh, some clips of it. So here's the clips of Gotham Knights. 
and I hope you guys enjoy some of it. And then we'll talk more about it here in a second. did it. Man, he was hard. Why didn't you listen? And as you guys can see, um, you know, like it does have some bugs and <laughs> like ev every game does, to be honest, like every game does. Like, every game's gonna have its bugs, to be honest. But it is quite enjoyable. It's fun as hell. Um, the combat's fun. Some of the story's fun. It's definitely another one of my favorite games of 2022. And, um, you know, it, it, it's definitely not like any other, any other game out there that, you know, that was in the Batman universe. But... You know what? One thing I will say on this last thing is, um, like, like what I would want to see next on, you know, like out of the series, is uh, like a Superman game. Like maybe bring back a Superman game from the DC comics. You know, we haven't seen a Superman game in forever, so bring that back. And you know, but yeah, guys, getting back to what I was saying. I would love to um, see a Superman game. Um, Superman, I haven't seen a game for in a long time. So I would love to see another Superman game. Maybe a Daredevil game, which I think we had one a long time ago. Like, you know, I, th I think it was on the PS2, the Daredevil. I know this is going uh, out of order and, you know, this is DC Comics. But still, those were some great games even the ghost rider game okay to number three one of my other favorite games of 2022 would definitely have to be far cry 3 um i know this is another older game and it came out let me look it up real quick guys so it came out november 29 2012 um so yeah, this is another game that's, you know, that came out late. Um, but I gotta say, the game was quite out there. It was full of story. It was full of, like, like many, many, much action, I will say. And it, it was a really, really good Far Cry game. Um, you know, you were stuck on an island. You had to kill these pirates that was, you know, like on the island and... The island was taken by a bad guy called Voss, or Vass, however you say it. You guys could correct me in the comments <laughs> if you played the game. But um, uh, I'm a big fan of the Far Cry games in this game, even though it was kind of bizarre and weird and out there. Because there was times where the character Jason got high off of something. <laughs> and then he would, like, hallucinate. But then again, you did that on Far Cry 5, too, so... I mean, either way, but that's that's what really got me into the Far Cries was Far Cry 5, and then I started New Dawn. I own the whole collection on Xbox, and they're 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 quite enjoyable. You you can go around and you can either play with friends or by yourself. So either way, it's it's definitely an enjoyable experience, and I would definitely recommend the games because they are super as fun. And I'll even show you guys some clips from some of my, uh, like my playthroughs of it too, if you want. So here's some clips of Far Cry 3. Come on. 
Come get me. You know you want to. <laughs> you actually walk on the mine like an idiot. He actually walked into the mine. <laughs> and as you can see, the game is... Like, I know it's dated at this point, but it is fun as hell. It's enjoyable. And I love the content. And coming up with number four. Four on the channel. Um, another game I have enjoyed for 2022 would have to be... Okay, so number four would have to be Dead by Daylight. Um, this is a multiplayer game. You can play as a killer or a survivor. Um, you know, some of you may already know it because you see it popular on Twitch or, you know, people playing it on YouTube, live streaming of it, li live streaming it. Why I say live even it? <laughs> that, that was kind of weird. I'll be, I'll be honest. But yeah, a lot of people live streaming it on Twitch or YouTube or Facebook, you know, if you watch Facebook streams or Trovo. You know, or Glimish, you know, like I, I named those because I, I have watched all those platforms and know they exist. So <laughs> like this, this, like the, the game is just popular. Let's be honest, you know, like I got to say one of my favorite um th things to play as would probably be the killer. Like I like playing as Trapper because he's fun as hell. Um... You know, it, it's fun to play as killer, um, but I I actually do enjoy playing survivor the most over killer because, you know, the reason I even play killer to begin with is just because I don't have anybody to play it with. And, you know, I, I'm always down for meeting people either through streams to play it or whatever, you know, I, or even if I've made friends through streaming, like, you know, but a lot of times if I stream a game. Then a lot of times I'm just like, hey, will you play this with me? You know, hoping somebody will pop in and play it with me or whatever. And, you know, like, I, like I'll be honest, I'm the most antisocial person you'll meet. Especially when it comes to multiplayer games. So, you know, like, that's kind of why, like, I've also moved away from certain games too. Um, like, I've, I've either played them a lot or... I just got tired of them, like Minecraft. I don't play that anymore, but I do still play other games like Fall Guys, you know, all that stuff. I know this is getting a little off topic, but I'm just saying, you know, just as an example. I mean, I want to start getting in the Battlefront if, again, Star Wars Battlefront if it's possible. Um, but today when we tried to stream it... <laughs> Like, like it wasn't, nobody was queuing up in the game, and I'm like, where the hell is everybody? Like, either they bought the upgrade or whatever, because it said there's an upgrade to it, and I don't even know if that's true or not. Well, I guess it is true. I'd have to buy the upgrade, but I don't feel like paying for no upgrade. <laughs> just, just to play a damn game. Like, seriously, EA, you, you're kind of a little bit of, um... Like, you're kind of a bit anti-consumer, just saying. So, getting off, you know, now that I'm done ranting and rambling about Battlefront, um, let's get on to number five. So, this is the final countdown. So, number five. You know, this game was fun. I enjoyed every minute of it. And, you know... This, this this was uh depth number five was kind of hard i'll be honest but the final one on the list would have to be high on life so this game just came out um you know i played this offline i didn't even stream it like everybody else did but it's definitely a game i wanted to play offline instead of you know live streaming it because I don't know, there's there's just some games I just want to play offline and enjoy. And um, High on Life is definitely one of them, if that makes sense. But <clears throat> I will say I had a lot of fun playing it. And, you know, it was a very enjoyable, uh, a very enjoyable game. Uh, the fact the fact that it was just out there, you know, like the things that it kind of intrigued me were the talking guns. And then one of them sounded like M Morty from Rick and Morty. And it was the same voice actor. 
and and the same one I'd even played Rick in the show. So you know the fact that you got aliens swearing and you know funny adult humor and everything like that. <laughs> like like even the landscapes are beautiful. You know what I mean? Like even the landscapes are beautiful. So you know, like I gotta say, like even though the game was just you know out there. It was kind of an enjoyable experience, and, you know, I'm going to show some gameplay of this, so I hope you guys do enjoy Here are some clips, just so you guys know what I mean. And with that being said, that's, that's what I mean by it's out there. You know, it's not like any other game you will see out there, and it's definitely changed up a lot of different things about gaming. At least I think so, especially with humor. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new here on the channel, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. See me on t on YouTube uh, either tomorrow, well, <laughs> well, see me on YouTube uh, Fridays and Sundays. Uh, this week I'm doing a Thursday because I just realized that it's almost the beginning of the year and. You know, like, I got stuff to do that day, so you will definitely see me on again, like, uh, like on, like, next Friday, next Sunday with a live stream, you know, doing some multiplayer games. So if you guys play those, like, if you play multiplayer games, make sure to come by the channel, hang out, play some games with us, and, you know, you and then the rest of the week, you can find me on Twitch.tv under, uh, slash TV. And I will drop that link in the comments below. So you, well, I should say the description below. <laughs> Why am I saying comments? This is a freaking video, not a freaking actual live stream. But still, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, thank you so much for being here, especially if you're new around here. And I love your face, love your faces. I will see you in the next video or live stream on YouTube. Much love, guys. Phoenix Army forever. Love your face.